So, let's pop this back on the floor. Thinking about it. Leave it. <laughs> well done, Freddie. And like I said, Freddie will bite when he guards something. So this is what we're trying to do. And the e-collar is the safest way of doing it because you don't have to put your hands in there. Mm. Yeah? You said he will guard his lead. So you yeah, can't even does. have a lead to pull him away from the object. Mm. And of course, this is serious, right? Because if Teddy gets something that is dangerous to Teddy, you can't get it off of him. And that could be potentially deadly. Yeah. Yeah? Plus... If, one, if he's got something that belongs to the children or something that he's stolen, they can't take it off yeah, of him yeah. because he'll bite them. Yeah. Let's create a little... Use, shall we? Put that on the floor. What else did you like? I just want to hold the phone a second. Tea towel? Just... Tea towel? <laughs> Go back another tea towel. Lots of tea towels. Carrier bag, we've already confiscated that. Kids lunch box. What else do you like, Ted? Fred? What about a rubbish bag? Recycling. That would be a good one for you. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, problem solved. You never have to do it again. Oh, look at this, Freddy. <laughs> Creating a whole menage of things for you. Oh. <laughs> Leave it. Leave it. Yes. But the good thing is, that's it, see how he's leaving it? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, so, so it's creating that, when you say leave it, because it's paired with the vibration option, yeah, that's what he doesn't like. He doesn't like it when it vibrates. Yeah. But already now, he's looking at things and looking at us as opposed to going straight in stealing. Yeah, he's working it out. Yeah. And we're pairing it. So, but like I said, this is where people go wrong. So if he has something, you try and bribe him, go, here you are instead. Yeah. But what that does is if what he's got is more valuable than what you're offering, mm -hmm. you've got no hope. And many times it encourages the stealing because he knows if I pick something up, you're going to yeah, get treats out. Yeah, it does. It does even worse So we're doing a similar process to that. But when I say leave it, mm -hmm. I'm pushing the vibration option, right, which he doesn't like. Then when he looks at me, I reward. Mm -hmm. So I'm saying, look, if you do this, mm -hmm. this happens. But if you do this, this happens. Yeah. yeah? Can you catch? So let's pop this back on the floor. Just thinking about it. Leave it. <laughs> well done, Freddie. And like I said, Freddie will bite when he guards something. So this is what we're trying to do. And the e-collar is the safest way of doing it because you don't have to put your hands in there. Mm. Yeah? You said he will guard his lead. So you yeah, can't even does. have a lead to pull him away from the object. Mm. And of course, this is serious, right? Because if Teddy gets something that is dangerous to Teddy, you can't get it off of him. And that could be potentially deadly. Yeah. Yeah? Plus... If, one, if he's got something that belongs to the children or something that he's stolen, they can't take it off yeah, of him yeah. because he'll bite them. Yeah. So this just takes that hands-free emotion away. Yeah. yeah. And look, Teddy goes back sniffing. We're not stopping anything. Put this back on the floor. That's a treat bag as well. And this dog is highly food motivated. He loves his grub. He'd have been all over that at home. Yeah. Well, he's already bought me in a garden glove. He's bought me in a carrier bag. I'm just <laughs> setting up things for you, Ted. <laughs> you got Teddy on the brain, Freddy. Fred, yes, because I've been working with Teddy <laughs> yeah. at the minute and all my videos have been about Teddy lately. <laughs> Teddy and Freddy, yeah? But, yeah, this is the safest way of doing it. But like I said, the mistake He's people really are calm. making... Pardon? He's really calm as yeah. well. The mistake people are making, right? So he can sniff. I'm not going to do it just for sniffing, but if it, it's when I say the word leave it, mm -hmm. I want... But like I said, when we're training dogs, 
we teach them all these good words, good boy, and it's helpful with a fuss or a treat. Or if you use the word yes, it's followed by a treat. So you're teaching the, the dog that all these words have a positive association attached to them. But then when we say no or enough or stop it, we're not creating an association to that word. So all it is is just a word. Yeah. So now the vibration is an association to the word leave it, which then makes him go oh. Yeah? And it's yeah. just a vibration, but he doesn't like it. But when I say leave it, that means leave it. No negotiations, and I'm not going to reach in and take it because he will bite. Yeah? You're doing good. Not stealing anything anymore. <laughs> you are going to do so well, yes, you are. <laughs> Do you want another biscuit, Ted? You can have that one. You can have that one. <laughs> break. He knows what the word break means. So if he's looking at something, he looks at me, can I have it? There's the option, I can either tell you to leave it, or I can let you have it. Yeah. It's about having that control, yeah? When he has something, or has his mind set on something, that's when it's gone. And unfortunately... Had the... you pressed it then, or you were just, no, uh, no. was just waiting? No, oh, because he, he didn't yeah. do anything yeah, for me, waiting. he was looking at the situation. Yeah. But instead of rushing in like he normally, would have done, he looked yeah. at me. Yeah, that's what and I in this sense, to... yeah, there you go. It's amazing, Freddie. Yeah. But this is a serious problem. Dogs that steal things. It's a yeah. serious problem. He steals everything. How many yeah. dogs have ended up in the vets where they've eaten something they shouldn't? Yeah. yeah. I had a client with actually a spaniel who contacted me whose dog has to be muzzled when it goes outside because it, it's already gone to the vets once because it picks up everything. Yeah. 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 And they're trying to say it, leave it, stop it. But now the dog has to be in a muzzle all the time. Yeah. When a simple one push of a button, say mm. leave it, and mm. that's game. It's it. It's game changing. Mm. Right, now do. It's doing well, didn't you, mate? So he's got something. Leave it. Good boy. Get a treat out for you, Ted. So there is an incentive for you to uh, listen. So if I tell you to leave it, you're going to get a reward. But there's also an incentive to listen as well. There's a double incentive. Listen to me get a reward. Don't listen to me. The incentive for you to drop yeah. it is you turn off the vibrate. Yeah. But now you can safely reach in and grab the Pokemon card. It's a Pokemon card, man. What's wrong with you? But this is Ted. Every 30 seconds he's into something. Yeah. I stopped filming. 30 seconds later he's gone and found a Pokemon card. Yeah, that's what it's like at home. But you said that at home he would have hid under the table. He hides under our dining table and you wouldn't be able to get that unless you was to throw a treat on the floor which um, it doesn't yeah. reduce but the But that problem. encourages him to steal things. Yeah, it does. Steals everything. Yeah. Chews everything. Good stuff, Ted. Fred, 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 Fred. <laughs> So you never go and sit next to mum no. looking for attention. No. You just go around stealing things as if mum doesn't exist. Yeah. And you just said yeah. the fact that he's sitting next to you, he never does this. No, he's so calm. He, look, he runs around looking for something that he can take. Yeah. I mean, again, that, that, like I said, the video we've done before, the reason we was teaching him bed is because he has many anxiety-based issues yeah. where he just goes yeah. back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, doesn't switch off. Yeah. So we taught him that in the house there's a place that you can go to switch off. Well, but I've again, got outside... It's not switching off still, so... No, but, but the problem you've got is he's now guarding his bed and yeah. he's guarding his lead. Yeah. So this is where we're coming up with now a hands-free way of yeah. actually breaking through to him. Uh, but no, that's awesome. But like I said, the common misconception. But yeah, so basically, you press the vibrate button, that's all it is. It's no different to your phone being on yeah. the side. Yeah? It's an annoyance to the dog. Yeah. But it's an annoyance that interrupts the behaviour and then you can give him good information. Yeah. And if it annoys him enough, he stops doing what he's doing. Yeah. Yeah? But it's completely external and it's just a vibrate. 